So I've been hearing some interesting news. Uh, there's been some sightings of some strange things happening in Thebes. So I thought I'd take it upon myself as the mentor of the Egyptian Brotherhood, and I think we should go and check it out. It's best we suit up, uh, you know, get our armor on. Can't be going in there unprotected. Uh, go ahead and put the hood on. There we go, we're all ready to go. So. There should be a guide uh, just outside of Memphis, so we'll go and find them and make our way to Thebes. Um, it's a very interesting, interesting things uh, have been, been talked about. So, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, today we're playing Curse of the Pharaohs, uh, the second of the major expansions coming out of Assassin's Creed Origins. I've been really looking forward to this, to be honest, and I'm so excited we're here to play it. I'm still a bit sick. You could probably hear it a little bit in my voice, but um, I think we'll be all right for the meantime. Uh, and I've made doubly, triply sure that the mic and audio won't fuck up like I did with the hidden ones. So we should be good to go, uh, hopefully. Anyways, here we are heading towards the guide now. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a Let's Play, so I thought it'd be nice to sit down and do that. Uh, normal. I, I did actually think to myself, shall I do a Let's Play or shall I think of something? Oh, shit. <clears throat> I shouldn't have come in here. No! I'm so very sorry. Uh, but I did think to myself, shall I do a Let's Play? Or shall I do something else covering Curse of the Pharaohs? But I thought at the end of the day, since I've been looking forward to this so much, why not just do a Let's Play? I'm really looking forward to seeing what this has to offer. Um, so let's, let's get bloody going and let's get the fuck into this. Okay. We're not too far away now. I wonder if there's going to be a new outfit we get from this. Were we going to get something to complement this DLC? Um, I mean, <clears throat> I'm half expecting something really dumb, like a like a mummy outfit or something stupid. But who knows? Who knows where this is going to go? Who knows where the story is going to go? Whether it's going to be, you know, heavily story-based or what's going to happen. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, and here we are. We're very close now. We're just going to cross this area, so we'll hump, it, hump in. We won't be doing that. We'll hop in the river and head over to travel to Thebes. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. I always love returning to Origins, um, getting more stories with Bayek. Just gets me more pumped that hopefully they'll do a sequel. Here we go. Let's go. Let's see where this takes us. How it introduces the DLC. I'm I'm so pumped for this. I really am. Here we go. With our horrible lion head on the side of our uh, gauntlet here. Uh, but that's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Here we are. Bayek, I do not send you greetings, but a warning. Four years have passed since we laid the last to rest, but the creed spurs us ever onwards. I have captured a messenger bearing news of another artifact, this time in Upper Egypt. You must go at once. Give this parcel to Merti. She lives and runs her business near Luxor. She owes me a favor, not friendship. The rest must fall to you. Find this artifact no matter the cost. Oh. It's got a message from Aminet there. That's pretty cool. Um. <clears throat> Let no one unleash its power on those we once swore to protect. Welcome. Welcome in Thebes. You need a room? A bigger shield? A bodyguard? As Ra lives, he landed a blow. Oh no. 
quickly better go get to him. So we've got a message from Amunet. So she, I hope, hopefully she won't be like showing up uh, like she did in the other one uh, this time. That'd be great. We're in Thebes now, which is great. Oh god, why does that him? That was super aggressive. Return to the duet. I honor the gods. People are innocent. Get out of here! <coughs> Bloody hell, you're quite strong, aren't you? Fucking Christ. Stop killing people! This is a super aggressive ghost, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's take it out. Uh, bloody hell. Alright, so... Um, this I believe this takes place before uh, the Hidden Ones, which is interesting. Uh, leads me to believe even more so that this, uh, that, you know, we'll get a sequel with Bayek. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Got a good few hits in there. Get him! Let's do it! Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Finish her off. There you go. Shards of a star. We've got three shards of a star. So are those like carbon crystals? Is using it to summon the long dead. I must stop them before this cast matters all of Thebes. Hmm. True. Okay, hold up. Let's have a little look here. Do we have, like, can we upgrade weapons now? Is that what Shards of a Star, what does Shards of a Star do? Okay, so we've got these, though. Oh, you need Shards of a Star to upgrade, to upgrade, uh, to upgrade your equipment. So you don't use carbon crystals anymore. You use Shards of a Star to upgrade these even further. That's cool. Okay, let's have a look at the ability tree. So we've got some more abilities now. Hail of Arrows. Consecutive hits while shooting a light blow increase its damage. That's pretty good. Piercing Arrows. Flitch out of bow. Pierce Shields. That's pretty good. Uh, we've got Toxin Arrows. That's pretty good. Uh, although I don't use Predator Bows very much. Uh, Shattering Arrows. Fine. Okay, what we got up here? What's this? <clears throat> Dash Boost. When you execute a perfect dodge, you receive a boost... To damage for a short time, okay. Overpower Fury, when you use Overpower Attack, you regain some of your health and get rid of all negative conditions. That's a pretty good one. And then our last one is Favor of Osiris. Over time, while in the afterlife, you regain arrows and tools. That's pretty good as well. Nice, okay. That's pretty sweet. Right, should we have a little look at the map? Okay, so obviously so far we've only got this area, which is Thebes. You've got the Thebes Gnome. You've got uh, Theban Necropolis, Valley of the Kings. The Wazat Desert and the Yebu Gnome. I can't, you know, I don't know if I'm saying these correctly. And then obviously we also do have the Afterlife, which is another open world. This is huge. Holy shit, this is awesome. Okay. Uh, it kind of feels like the, the, the size of this, honestly, is feeling like a sequel. Uh, let's go and do a viewpoint to get kind of our, our, uh, our bearings here. We'll go do this viewpoint over here, I think. Unless that one's closer. No, we'll go do this one over here. Uh, sort of get our bearings of the area, which is sort of the, you know, the Assassin's Creed thing to do. Every time you go to a new area, or you start a new game, you sort of have to do a viewpoint, don't you? That's sort of what you have to do, um, and, you know. So, continuing the tradition on here, and doing so. Is it up there, on that? I assume so. Let's go up. So far, everything looks very similar to Egypt. I'm hoping that the area is going to look quite different in some areas. I'm assuming Valley of the Kings will look pretty different. I'm really excited to go there. Uh, but I have this thing in games, I don't like to explore the map before the story wants me to go there, otherwise there's no surprises. Um, so, you know. Aha! Okay, the viewpoint appears to be up there, I believe. This area is really nice. Feels very, uh... It's very different to the Hidden Ones, because the Hidden Ones, everything was very sort of Roman in occupation, and everything was being sort of destroyed, but it looks like, um... Everything's intact here, and very Egypty, which is nice. Um, I like that. Which is cool. Okay, let's get to the top of here. And we'll do it, give ourselves a nice viewpoint of the area. I genuinely do feel like I'm playing a sequel, and it kind of gets me hyped for a potential bike sequel in the future. Um, but that's the same way I felt about the hidden ones. Uh, it's just this one's even bigger, which is great. Okay, here we are. Let's have a viewpoint. Let's do it. Nice. The area's looking pretty cool. Fantastic. World map updated, centers perception increased. Cool, so what exactly did that do on the map? What did it do? Did it do anything? No, because we've already unlocked this area for the purposes of the introduction, I suppose. Alright, fantastic. Okay, let's go head down 
to the mission marker then, so we can get introduced to this quest uh, and this world before we start sort of exploring and expanding what we do. Because uh, I want to take I want to take my time sort of with this. Because <clears throat> uh, I want to I don't know I want like a new approach to let's plays. Uh, rather than just sort of doing what I used to do, which is just racing through the story. I kind of want to take my time, have fun with it, explore and stuff, while also doing the story as well. Um, sort of how I played through Origins originally, doing a few side quests, getting my level up, doing some main quests, you know, that sort of thing. I wonder exactly how much XP we're going to be getting from each quest here, because the hidden ones gave a lot. You'd assume the same from Curse of the Pharaohs. Anyways, we're in Luxor now. Here we go. Let's go speak to this person. You survived the curse. They will speak of you throughout Thebes. Make sure no one speaks of me. Of course. No Philekitai will hear of the man with death in his eye. I was told you would help me. This is for you. What is this? Who gave this to you? The woman you know as Aya. Very well. What do you want? A rare artifact. I believe it is the cause of this curse. Could it be? Rumors, whispers. A relic was stolen from an unknown pharaoh's tomb. Some say this desecration called the curse down upon us. I must find it. There is quite a black market here in Thebes. Secret auctions, rare trades. Talk to the merchants near the docks. They will know more. And tell Aya our deal is done. I am headed south. The curse comes too close for comfort. What if I have more questions? Then find Isidora, the god's wife of Amun. She will understand this curse in a way I cannot. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Assassin's Creed Origins. The Curse of the Pharaohs. Oh, shit. Sick. Alright, we've been introduced to it now. Nice. <coughs> God, alright. Ha. Ah, that's a cool quest name. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of quests coming in at once. Oh, I like the logo. That's sick. The apple? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So we've got Curse of the Pharaohs, 30,000 fucking XP, 20,000, and then 8,000. So, the, what are these different quests? Um, that one's 47. News of another artifact reaches by, because that's the main quest, right? Then we've got this one, which is that one, and then this one. Maybe we should do this one first. Oh no, let's do this one first, because it's level 44, it's more close to our level, then we get 20,000 XP. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so we've got to reach the market. Okay, fantastic. Let's go. Uh, this is great so far, I'm really liking this. I've, I've, I love how they've been handling the DLCs, like... They really do feel like they could just stand on their own. Like, I mean, they couldn't because they feel like sequels, which is good, that's what you want, but like, in terms of quality... Like, they don't feel like they're just little, like, tacked on. They feel like... They feel great. I really, I really, really impressed with how they've been doing this. Such a step up. The was stolen from a pharaoh's tomb. Someone here must know the thief. I reckon the woman. I'm looking for something special, ancient. I have coin. Talk to Siamun if you want that kind of trinket. He has the best in Thebes. He said it. Bebe duk a nichayet. Okay. Is this all you have? I was told this market sold artifacts from the tombs. Uh, is there anything to say? The fuck? Is this all you have? I was told this market sold artifacts from the tombs. There is no money to be made in relics, Ned. All anyone wants is protection from the curse. Scarabs? Amulets? Hmm. Okay. Where would I find something rare, golden, like the sun? I have gold. You need a trinket for a lady friend? 
Whatever you want, Nan. You won't find better in Thebes. Hmm. No. Not quite what I'm looking for. This bloke might know what I'm looking for, though. How's he going? Welcome, Seni. This is the one. Siamon's curious. Are you looking for something special? I have the rarest stock in Thebes. An artifact from the tombs. Such a treasure would cost the Pharaoh's ransom. But not here, Neb. The soldiers are stupid, but their swords are sharp. Come. Not Ooh, many hello. We sell to a stranger. Now, why is that? You are in the heart of the black market. Relics are everywhere. Trust is hard to come by. But you can trust Siamu. You alone amongst all the merchants. Some might take advantage of a man fresh off the boat in Thebes. Once who laid him down the coin. You should be more careful, then. Okay. Where are we going, Siamun? Where you got up your sleeve? What bloody do you in, mate? Uh, he hasn't even done anything. Why am I being so rude? I'm sorry, Salmon. I really do appreciate your, your help, buddy. Buddy, you're my friend. We we, we good, right? What, are we gonna... Are you not gonna start a dialogue? Like, that'd be great, because... We, you know, I would like that while we're walking through the streets. Okay, what's this? Oh, you fucker! I can't believe you did this to me, Salmon. I thought we were fucking mates. What the fuck, bro? <coughs> He obviously doesn't know who fucking bike of see what is, does he? He doesn't fucking know. Oh shite, cunt. Okay, hold up. <clears throat> there you go, fucking take this cunt. Hey! Okay, see ya, man. Come on, bro. What's this fucking bullshit? What are you, what are you pulling, bro? What's this? Yo! Let's try this again. I'm looking for an artifact stolen from the tombs. Oh, that artifact. Yes, yes, but Ursu must not know we spoke. Ursu? You really don't know anything, do you? I know how to slit a man's throat before he can cry for help. Oh! There is an auction. Very exclusive. I tried to get in, but Ursu and I don't see eye to eye. Where can I get an invitation? To Hemet as one. The historian. I tried to win it from her in our last dice game. We play on a roof north of here. By Horus. That's all I know. Just let me live. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if this were a good game... Sorry, I, that came out wrong. I meant if this were like, <clears throat> you know, The Witcher or a Bethesda game or something, we'd be able to play this, this dice game and gamble and actually win it. I'm not expecting that because it's Assassin's Creed, but you gotta admit, were it anything else, you, you kind of would be like, ah, oh, are we gonna get to play the game? If we did, would be shocked. Ah! Beetle down from a horse's ass, what is this? Let me roll again. If I lose, I'll give you twice what I offered. By all means. I know you have an invitation. I will play you for it. I have coins. Maybe I want to keep my invitation. Ever thought of that? I guarantee you cannot possibly want it more than me. Please. My mother, she's sick. She has one wish. <laughs> Your uncle is a better liar. Who invited the thug? He here with you? Never seen him before. You cheated! Just like you cheated him! I knew it! What the fuck? What have I why, why do I get involved in this battle? Oh my god, we get sword out for bloody Christing she Whoa! What the fuck? <clears throat> why am I being killed? What's going on? 
Holy fucking hell, Christ. Whoa, wait, what? Did, did, did a fucking cunt just spawn in? Did I just hear that right? Is that what that was? Well, I don't know, we gotta bloody protect this bloke. Oh god, I'm so close to dying right now. Oh, nice one. Alright, why has my, like, hearing gone, like, super low? Is it because I'm dying? No, everything's just really quiet. I'm not sure if that's the same for you. What's going on? I already lost all my money, huh? Neb? Bike. I do not need coin. I need information. And your invitation. To Irsu's auction? You heard what I told that rust head Claude Pet Sutek. But the boy did not just save your life, Tahamet. All right. It's all getting a little hot for my blood anyway. Desecration, curses, pharaohs returning from the dead. Do you know what Irsu is selling? Whatever it was, brought the curse down upon us. Look, Irsu is a crook. He and his cronies found Queen Nefertiti's tomb, stole something from it. And now she wants it back. No one deserves death more than that dung peddler, but she comes for us all. My invitation is at my villa, near the entrance to Karnak. Take it, if the gods allow. The gods? You'll see. I have a game on the other side of Thebes. May the dice fall in your favor, bye. Okay. Okay. What a shame, we couldn't play the Vord game. Alright. <clears throat> Calling our horse. Let's go, armoured horse. We've got to reach Ta Tahamet's house. Easy, simple. Likely we're going to have to fight a bloody god thing, aren't we? Okay, well that didn't work, did it? How do we get him? This way? Maybe oh. The study is somewhere underneath. underneath. What are you chatting, Bayek? What are we doing? What? Does want me to go on the roof? Oh, hello. We can get in through here. Hmm. Got some stairs. Let's go down. Yeah, there we go. What was All right. it that Ahmed said? If the gods allow, wheels. Perhaps the uh, what? Turn. They all seem to turn in one direction. Like this? I reckon that's right. It'll be like an introduction into how they work. No. Um. What do you mean? Hold up. <coughs> that one moves with that for some reason. That one moves that too, though. So would you think that this would be like... Maybe they have to look inwards. Like, maybe this is the right way. Like, that. So they look in at each other. While that... Did I do it? Hey, oh fucking cunt! That scared the shit out of me. All right, we did it. Let's investigate. The virus from the old kingdom. <laughs> Writings from the old kingdom. All right, what else we got? Oh, hello. The apple. It's sketched. Bloodshed and madness will this one bring. So is this a new apple or is this like one we've seen before but like this is its past like because I'm pretty sure nice 20 the before the relic is sold. 
Okay, well that's what we can get up to in the next bloody episode. Uh, but I just want to know, like, so is this apple... Because we know Bayek's apple from the main game is Altea's apple. It was told to us in that, in that, uh, imagery dictionary thing. But is this apple one we've seen before? Like, could it potentially be Ezio's apple or, um... We know, or Arno's apple, not the Dead King's one. I mean, like Napoleon's apple. Um, although I believe Napoleon's, I don't remember. There was, there's, there's like six apples we know of, and this is this a new one or is this one of the six? Who knows? Uh, anyways, I've, I'm, I'm loving the introduction to this. I can't wait to get more into it. It's very mysterious. I like that the story isn't just straightforward. It's like, why is the apple doing this? Who's got it? Who knows how to use it? What are we going to do with it? I like there's a mystery involved, not just a straightforward, we have come to this area to kill, like, particular enemies, which is what the Hidden Ones was. As cool as it was the story, this is a very more mysterious one, a very Revelation, Sophia memories, very, uh, uh, sort of, um, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate Eevee memories. You know, that sort of, that storyline, rather than just, like, the Assassin Templar storyline. It's very Pieces of Eden oriented, and I like that so far, so who knows where this is going to go. Um, there's a bunch of quests, a huge area to explore. I really cannot wait to just dig dig into this, just sink my teeth into it and just get into this because it's really, really cool. But for this first episode, you know, it's been a, a good start. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed, of course. And as always, I will see you next time. Hopefully not quite as sick as I am in this episode, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed nonetheless. I'll likely stream some of the side activities in this, um, so to sort of cover it and just have a good time with it uh, at some point, maybe today, who knows, uh, but there's that. Thank you very much again for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.